Okay, so today on The Woodworks, I'm very excited because I want to introduce uh, some of you to maybe something you don't know about. Living here in Miami, there's a big Cuban community and one of my favorite dishes is anything in a mojo marinade, which is a Cuban marinade. Um, it's citrus, citrus based. Let me run down the list of ingredients. Five cloves of garlic, one onion, uh, one cup freshly squeezed orange juice, a quarter cup freshly squeezed lime juice, half a cup freshly squeezed lemon juice, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon dried oregano, third cup of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, and one serrano pepper chopped. And I'm gonna marinate two pounds of chicken thighs. This marinade is very versatile. You can use it on poultry, so chicken or turkey, seafood, but traditionally it's used on pork a lot in the Cuban community. Um, but I love so much of the Cuban cuisine that um, I wanted to show you guys this. It's very simple, but let's get started with the marinade. Very simple, let's get the onion in here, the garlic, and the serrano pepper. And we're gonna start to pulse that. Okay, so then I'm gonna add all the liquid, the olive oil, the lime juice, the lemon juice, the orange juice, and let's get that incorporated. All right, now let's add the cumin, the oregano, and I'm gonna add some pepper. Probably like a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And let's get it incorporated. This is the easiest way to do it to me is in the food processor, but you can do it in a blender, same thing. And all we're gonna do is take this mixture and pour it over the chicken. And it smells amazing. So I probably could have used about half of that. Um, I probably could use half of it and save the other half for something else, but I want to make sure the chicken's all covered. You know, so move the chicken around. Okay, now I'm just gonna cover it. Put it in the fridge. You can put it in the fridge overnight. Um, we're gonna let this marinate for a few hours, um, probably three or four hours. You at least wanna let this sit in here for an hour. I mean, that's the minimum to me, but I like to let it go overnight. Into the fridge. Okay, so I took the mojo marinated chicken thighs out of the refrigerator and put them on this rack because we were gonna go outside and grill them, but went outside and checked and there's no propane. So I have to make a run uh, to Home Depot and get a couple. We usually have a backup one, but we went through the backup one too. So um, gotta get some pro propane, but this is how you improvise. Like I'm just gonna do it on the stove top here. You could also bake them, um, but I'm just gonna do it here and you know, it's it's fine. I have a grill pan. Um, I would rather, you know, cook them on the grill outside, but got to improvise and this is it. So I'm just going to spray this the surface 
because there's already been oil in the marinade, so it's not gonna need much. And just gonna put them on the grill. And we're just gonna let them go and we'll be back. I mean, they gotta, they gotta go probably uh, eight to 10 minutes on each side. Internal temperature of 165, so we'll be back when they're done. Okay, so the moho chicken thighs are done. Gonna shut off the heat, take it off the heat. I'm gonna plate it up and give it a taste. Okay, so I have the moho marinated chicken thighs um, all plated up. Looks fantastic. The house smells amazing. Gonna give it a taste. It is just perfect. Perfect marinade. Mm. And it's not too citrusy, which is, you know, you would think with the orange juice, the lime juice, the lemon juice, it might be too citrusy. It's just not. It's well balanced and flavorful. And the chickens cook perfectly. Don't overcook your chicken. Use a thermometer. You get to about 160, probably turn the heat off. Mmm. This is so good. Getting the onions and garlic. The serrano peppers in there. Mmm. I might add a little more serrano. Maybe have two. But I didn't want to make it too spicy. But this is just perfect. Oh man. So tasty. Fantastic. Wonderful. Try it at home. Traditional. Cuban mojo marinade, try it on chicken, turkey, seafood, pork. This would be great um, over some shrimp. Let it marinate overnight. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try it. So you try it at home. I'm really happy, my mojo marinade. You can bake it, you can pan fry it. Um, I don't know if you could air fry it. That might be a little, you could, I guess. I don't know. 